So far we have seen that area of a figure is proportional to the square of any of its representative lengths or dimensions. For example, the square of radius or diameter of a circle or the square of side or diagonal of a polygon and so on. Then as a special case we saw that doubling such a length quadruples the area makes it four times. The doubling of length can be viewed upon as adding a length to itself and then this sum can be generalized to two components which are not equal. For example here we have a square whose side is a plus b and we can consider two smaller squares whose sides are a and b. So these two squares their sides will add up to the side of the bigger square but as you can see their areas do not add up to the area of the bigger square. In fact we can work out this deficit it is going to be a into b for this rectangle and another a into b for this rectangle so two times a b. Now this is apparent from the algebraic expression of course that the square of a plus b is equal to a square this area plus b square that area plus two times a b the area of these two rectangles. Now let us think of how we can minimize this deficit. As I expand this yellow square the green one will shrink and so will these rectangles they will become thin strips. So as the two squares become very different one is very large and the other is very small the area of these two smaller squares tend to the area of the bigger one it gets maximized. And this is a general result this holds good for even circles hexagons or even irregular shapes so far we are keeping them similar to each other. Let us try this out in case of circles. So we will take three circles, two smaller circles whose diameters are getting added to this larger one. And uh, you can see this black area which is the deficit and we are going to expand say this circle here. The other one naturally shrinks because their diameters have to add up to the larger one. And you can see this uncovered area the deficit is reducing as the two circles become more and more disparate in size. And we are almost equal to the area of the outer circle. So this disparity in size or the asymmetry of size of the two component shapes seems to be the key for maximizing the area. And this is the trick a farmer can use for fattening his sheep. Let's see how. Let's say this is a top view of a 10 meter by 15 meter barn and there is a farmer with 20 meter long rope, one end of which he is going to attach to the barn and at the other end there is a sheep that he wants to let loose for grazing. And his problem is to find the best point of attachment to the barn so that the sheep will get the maximum area of grazing. Let us start with a symmetric position. So I will start from the middle of the length, go 20 meters in this direction, then the ship would take a turn like this, then this point would become the center because the rope is now going to get obstructed and finally this point would become the center and the ship would strike the bar. So this is the outermost path the ship could take and everything inside this is the area of grazing. By symmetry it can do the same thing on the other side. So let's get that area too. So this is the entire area for grazing. Let us do it with another symmetric position this time middle of the width. So again we go 20 then turn around like this and this way. By symmetry we can get the other side. Finally let us take a position that is the most unsymmetric. So we will go away from the midpoint of the length and as far away from the midpoint of the width which will be the corner. And from this corner like before we will go 20 meters, turn around and go 20 meters in this direction, arc, then this arc. On the other side we will be going along this arc then 
this shark. So this is the area of grazing. So here are the three areas that we just demarcated and I have shown the starting point with this yellow marker. In all the three scenarios, the areas could be split into such quarters. And these quarters of radius 20 meters are identical in all cases. So we can remove them from comparison. Now let us compare these two quarters. Here, half the length is subtracted from the rope, while here only half the width is subtracted from the rope. So this must be bigger than that. So these two quarters are smaller. So in fact, this area is going to be smaller than what we are getting here. Now let us make a comparison between these two cases. Here our starting point was symmetric and therefore these two quarters would give us lesser area compared to these two quarters because we have already seen more disparate the components higher is the sum of areas. And that is again uh, going to happen in this case where we have only a single quarter and here it is divided into two symmetric quarters. So this is a symmetric case and therefore can't give us maximum area. So we are left with this scenario where we start from the corner of the barn and get the maximum area.